Well, good day. This is non-breaking hyphens and non-breaking spaces. Let's look at this first sentence. On Saturday, we all went to Blockbuster in my mother's pink Cadillac to rent a copy of the X Men movie. Well, I don't want X up here and men down there. I want X Men to be one word, not broken up like this. But I want it to be like this, X Men. But it broke at the end of the line because hey, it said hey, I got to the end of the line. I had to do something, and a hyphen says that I can break this word into two lines, but I don't want to break this word into two lines. I want X and hyphen and men to stay together. So I'm going to use a non-breaking hyphen, not a regular hyphen, a non-breaking hyphen. Here's what you do. Let's backspace this regular hyphen. And to make a non-breaking hyphen, often called a hard hyphen, you hold down the control and you hold down the shift and then you tap the hyphen. Now it's made a hyphen that will not break the word up into two lines, non-breaking. You think, well, what's the big deal? I mean, couldn't people figure out that X-Men is really one word? Well, yeah, maybe they could. But it's often good if you have a hyphenated word to use a non-breaking space. I mean, a non-breaking hyphen. Here I used just a regular hyphen, and I thought, well, I don't have to use a non-breaking hyphen because it's in the middle of the line, and it's not on the edge. It's not going to break into two lines because it's in the middle of the line. But you never know if you're going to add more sentences someday. Oh, my gosh, I added a new sentence at the top. And now my second X-Men is broken out of two lines. See, I should have used a non-breaking hyphen in the first place. Every time you have a hyphenated word, I would recommend use a non-breaking hyphen. That is Control, Shift, and then tap the hyphen. So that if your words end up on the edge of the line, they will stay together. Same thing happens on the second one. Elizabeth and William went to Beckman Park on Saturday to play on the swings and the teeter-totter for an hour or so. Elizabeth especially likes the teeter-totter. Now, teeter-totter is a hyphenated word. It's not here because the word broke up because of syllables. So I want to keep that word together, and I'm going to backspace that and put in a non-breaking hyphen. That is control, shift, and hyphen. The same thing happened with Miss Williams Anderson. Now, she has a hyphenated last name, and it would be a lot nicer if her name stayed together on the same line. I mean, you wouldn't break your name into two pieces, would you? Just because you have a hyphen in it. So let's get rid of that hyphen and we'll put in a non-breaking hyphen control shift and hyphen looks much better here's two more examples in geometry class Victoria learned that the formula for a circle centered at the origin is x squared plus y squared equals zero the zero is over here by itself so I'd like to keep the entire formula together in one big line just because it has spaces and it doesn't mean that I want you to start a new line I want to keep all these things together. So I'll put a, instead of putting in a regular space, I'm going to put in a non-breaking space. Now there's a space right here, and can you see it? And I'm going to get rid of that space, so I'll backspace it, and I'm going to put in a non-breaking space. This one's going to be Control, Shift, Spacebar. And now at least the equals and the zero are together, but the formula is still broken up because there's another space there. So I'll backspace that space, and I'll put in a Control, Shift, Spacebar a non-breaking space, a hard space. The same thing for the space after the plus, the same thing for the space after the x squared, and now this entire thing is treated as one big long word instead of uh, broken into smaller parts. The last one says I learned just the other day that the last day of this century will be Thursday, December 31st, 2099. So it looks funny to have the 2099 over here and the rest over here. There's a space after this comma, so I'm going to get rid of that space and put in a non-breaking space. But geez, that doesn't look much better. It has December up here, and then it has 31st, 2099 down there. I'm going to get rid of the space after December and put in a non-breaking space. Now at least the date stays together. And all these things is treated as one giant word that cannot be broken from one line to the next. Now instead of using the keyboard, there is another way to put in a non-breaking hyphen and a non-breaking space. That is to use the Insert tab. On the Insert tab, way over on the right-hand side is Symbols. And we'll click this Symbol button, and it says down at the bottom, More Symbols. On the Symbols dialog box, there's a tab that says Special Characters. And one of the special characters is a non-breaking space. And you could have just inserted it like this. It tells you, though, that the shortcut key was Control, Shift, and Space for a non-breaking space. You could also put in a non-breaking hyphen. It says that the non-breaking hyphen is control, shift, and the underscore. And I guess that's true because the underscore and the hyphen are on the same key. But it's much easier to remember control, shift, hyphen if you want to make a hyphen. 
and you could just uh, click on it and say I want to insert instead of using the shortcut command. Well, that's about all there is to it. That's non-breaking hyphens and non-breaking spaces.